What's up, YouTube? We made it to Virginia. It was a thousand mile run. Um, y'all check that uh that video. Out. I'll show you. you. Gotta go in, and this is where you check in at right there. And I got here and take the straps off because he go to lunch at twelve. And I'm gonna just roll them up. Y'all pay attention to that because y'all gonna be doing that in security training. If y'all like the video, follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook, Facebook for more tutorial videos like this. And I got my next load. They already gave me a pre-plan on picking up in P um, Pennsylvania and heading on to South Carolina because Wednesday they working you towards the house. That's how they do a regional drivers. And it's a usually be a, a straight shot because I knew that uh, I'm going all the way up north. I knew they're gonna bring me all the way down back down south. So it's good they doing that. So now I'm gonna take the straps off and y'all just pay attention and stay tuned. We finally got it done. We finally got it done, y'all. Man, that was, a, that was a ride. But, man, as you keep doing it, you get faster and faster, man. The times you go by so fast, man. It's already Wednesday. Man, I remember coming out on the road Monday. It just went by so fast. And the next level pickup, it going to be in PA, which is 200 miles away. That's good. That's, that's a mile. And then the drop off, it going to be seven. It going to be uh five something i forgot what a five something so you add it up gonna be 700 and some miles so that's some good miles there's some good miles um there's some building supplies i think it might be kind of like home depot type load so i'm gonna find out when i find out, i'm gonna put it on video man and what i'm gonna do uh my fleetman oh yeah my fleetman told me that i'm gonna pick up probably in south carolina to head probably to texas man what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the house. That load, that's my, that's that load to get me through the house. So I might uh, get a couple things from the house and just go ahead and head on the test because you know that'd be like more miles. It's like more miles because I'm leaving. Like I'm, going, I'm already on the East Coast right now. Think about it, going all the way to Texas. Man, that's that's over two thousand miles. So that's where you get them big checks, like them six hundred, sixteen hundred dollar checks, seventeen hundred dollar checks, and you stand out, and that's how you get your pre deal money. So I'm excited about that. So that's 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 gonna really help. Um, if you ain't do it, go in the bottom of the description, follow the Facebook page, follow the Instagram page, and look at the tutorial videos how to use a computer in the truck, uh, how to roll the strap. Watch all them videos, man. They gonna help you out, man. I'm excited to pick up this next load. I know, I know it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy just like this load here. Lumber, all you doing, throwing straps, throwing the straps. That's all you doing. And then roll them up. They don't take, when you roll the straps up, it don't even take too long. It take probably like, it depends how many straps you have. You taking all the straps, take them off, roll them all up, probably take about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, cause we got a strap wind, it just be so easier just to freaking roll up the straps. It's not too much working flatbed. But it's just me, man. I just personally think just flatbed in general, like you can get out and work and do something. Cause driving, you be driving all day. You ain't doing that flatbed. At least you can get out, get out and do some stuff. You know, get out and smell the air, you know? So that's what I like about it. And um, I'm trying to probably see what else I can probably tell y'all guys, man. That's pretty much it, man, Till the guy come out here. I try to go in there and see. Uh, I think they on lunch. I don't see nobody inside, so they on lunch. So I gotta wait till they get out lunch. Take, they take like 30 minutes to get out, um, 30 minutes to get out lunch. So 
I gotta wait until they got lunch, but that's fine. They give me enough time to go pick up next load. Like right now, it's probably like, it's 11 o'clock when I check, and they give me enough time to get there. That The next place I'm gonna pick up at, they close at 2300. So Maverick give you a plenty of time to go pick up. Don't worry about, oh man, it's gonna be a tight one. It don't be, be, don't be no tight one. They give you enough time because they know some places take long, you know, to get unloaded. Like for and that's like this place. They don't want so. You know, it was a, just say if my time would cut a little close, I just gotta let them know, hey, Maverick, uh, the place I'm dropping off at at lunch. So I just let them know, calling what's going on. Maverick just wants want you to communicate with them. That's the big thing about Maverick. They're big on communication. You gotta communicate with them, let them know like what's going on, if you've been held up for some reason, and stuff like that. And you know, like this right here, if they stay on lunch too long, shoot, I'll put my attention pay in. Cause you know, they, they, they taking my time. So I get paid for that. So that's it right there, man. That's all I'll probably tell y'all for right now. And then I'm gonna go pick on my next load. I'll show y'all what y'all need to do with that. Y'all stay tuned.